<laughs> oh my god. Dion to the Brown Bomber Water from Tuscaloosa, Alabama to this to this day. Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder back in the gym. What does this mean? Will he return? That's what people want to know. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Now, boxing ego quick hits where I give you guys less intro, less filler. Let's get it. Badu Jack, former champion, super middleweight. He posted a picture, and it was of him and Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder. He said, good to see Wilder back in the gym today. And it looks like they're at the UFC PI, which is in Las Vegas. Now, Wilder could just be staying in shape and, you know, just living a fit life. Or this could be maybe the warning signs that he may return. Now, Wilder's a grown man. I can't put words in his mouth. I can't you know, determine what his next move is. And I, I feel Wilder specifically, I feel like Wilder has, in recent boxing history, had the most people lie on his name and basically suggest things or act like he said things that he never said. Like with the Tyson Fury, when Tyson Fury was trying to duck the rematch, there was this notion that he was willing to take step aside money and that's not something that was even discussed according to frank warren so it's like where do these things come from where people are saying and falsely reporting on somebody's name but i guess in boxing that's the world we live in so I, again i'm not trying to give people false hope wilder i don't know if he's retired i don't know if he's coming back me personally i definitely would like to see him return just because i think he's great for boxing he's an amazing person and a great ambassador for the sport of boxing. And I think he has a lot more left, to be honest. You know, just because you lost a Fury or whatnot, that, that still doesn't mean anything. And in the heavyweight division, it's wide open. If Joshua beats Usyk, that's an amazing fight still. People wanted to see it. I think Eddie Hearn... <laughs> and Anthony Joshua played games so we didn't get the fight when they were both undefeated but I think it's still a sellable fight especially if Joshua reclaims his titles and or beats Usyk now if Joshua can beat Usyk and I'm not sold that he can but we have to wait and see but he's enlisted some help got Robert Garcia RGBA in his corner things like that so we'll have to see Joshua definitely has a size and weight advantage over or Alexander Usyk so it's possible, you know, one punch can change everything in the heavyweight division. And if you look at Usyk's face, even after the first fight, even though Usyk won and won totally, his face was still tattered up fighting Joshua for 12 rounds. So we'll have to see, you know, we'll have to see how it plays off. But that still would be a big fight. I just like that Wilder, everything I'm seeing from Wilder, he looks to be in good spirits. I think that's important. Health is wealth and, you know, mental clarity and things like that. And he, he's all smiles. I think he's been kind of low key with his family. He just had the statue unveiling. It just looks like good times from Bomb Squad. You know, he looks to be enjoying his money. Looks like he enjoying his life, etc. So we'll see what this means. Wilder being out and about and pulling up to the gym. Is he just getting a workout in or could this be something deeper where there's a plan for him to come back i've seen all types of rumors and see this is what i'm saying wilder he he's the most even though he hasn't fought since last october he's like still one of the most talked about and rumored about fighters frank warren said he's going to come back and fight robert hellenius but where did frank warren get this information he doesn't work with wilder right it seems like he would be more worried about tyson fury's career and the sanctions put on Daniel Kinahan and things like that. And he's just randomly put that information out. But we haven't heard anyone from Wilder's team say that. Not to say it can't or won't happen. Robert Hellenius, to, he sparred with Wilder. And he messed up Adam Kalnaki, if I'm being real. Because I watched Adam Kalnaki's fight over the weekend on the Danny Garcia-Jose Benavidez card. And to me, after the two Robert Hellenius back-to-back -back fights, two fights where he was stopped... 
Kaunaki, I don't know if his psychology is the same. You know, I really don't. So it's definitely possible. But again, when it comes to Wilder particularly, I mean, I would always prefer to hear from the fighter or someone directly from the team. But Wilder particularly, even more so because everybody seems to want to speak for Deontay de Bronze, Bomber Wilder, and Tuscaloosa, Alabama, Omar, you know? And I don't think that's fair. Wilder, he's a man of few words when he doesn't have anything to say, but then he's definitely charismatic and outspoken if he ever has anything to say. So you got to just kind of respect that, and I'm going to let Wilder lead. But me, the selfish boxing fan of me, I want to see Wilder come back. Don't want to see him in on a loss. And again, I think he has a lot more in the sport. In the last 30 days, I looked at my YouTube analytics and it showed me something. It showed me that 50% of the people that watch my content for free on YouTube subscribed. The other 50%, you did not. We can change that right now. This is your reminder. Awooga. Y'all got to hit the like button. Y'all got to subscribe. SLC, subscribe, like, and comment. Really in that order. This is how I grow my channel organically. And I need each and every one of y'all. If you've ever gained any value from anything any of my videos, anything I said, then definitely do that. Pay it forward, reach one, teach one. Deontay Wilder, the other thing from this picture with Badu Jack, Wilder is in mean shape. Like, considering he hasn't fought since October, he's lean, he looks lean, but he looks like in shape shape. He looks like, like fight shape Wilder, to be honest. So it looks like he's managing his weight. And that's cool because, like I said, it, it could be just a matter of keeping his options open. He doesn't know what his next move is. So better to be in shape and, and continue to work until you final you finalize these decisions and decide what you want to do. Like Sugar Free said, it's better to stay ready so you don't have to get ready. You did. Let me know how I did in this video. Wilder all smiles. Looks like he's in great shape. Ego Weight Watchers, a.k.a. Ew, mixed with quick hits. Subscribe to the channel. And I'm out. Introducing Super Thanks. Right here on the official Boxing Ego YouTube. Super Thanks allows you, the viewers, to show a little bit of extra gratitude, which enables me as a full-time content creator to push out the content you need in the world of boxing. Underneath all the videos, you will see a heart with the dollar sign in it. You can enter any amount that you find suitable as a Super Thanks. A brand new interactive and colorful way to get your comments highlighted and noticed by not only myself, but other people on the YouTube platform. Super thanks, a unique and cool way to show and applaud us full-time content creators. Hopefully you guys enjoy the content. Super thanks. The future is now. The Hibernation Fives by Kenichi Bear. Hybrid gaming and lifestyle headphones. Out of the box, you can connect to any console or PC. Bluetooth ready with a low latency USB adapter, color RGB, and extreme bass mode. The Hibernation 5s adjust to you. Whether you need a gaming, travel, gym, or lifestyle headphones, the Hibernations got you covered. The new Hibernation 5s, link in the description. Customize the way you hear the world. Welcome to the nation.